I'm Jamie Grigsby. I'm an electrical engineer over in our research and development. The goal of Smart Dash is to keep the driver informed on all the information that the truck has at any given point in time and allow the customer easy access to any level of safety standard that the customer would like. You sit down, uh, key on, uh, there will be a driver code that you touch into the screen and then you'll be prompted to answer some safety questions. That's usually given by the customer. They'll set up like, uh, is there anything wrong with the frame? Have you checked the tires? Until you have went through your safety checks, the relay in the truck uh, will not uh, allow you to drive or lift. There's no catch-all for safety in a lot of these sites. The customer knows what is safe for their people. So we give them options so we can fit their need the best. A lot of our safety packages have to do with uh, lights and when the lights are on or off, uh, like our barrier light. Blue lights can be told to come on when the truck is going forward or back or to stay on all the time so people are aware of it. Smart alarm, so whenever uh, the customer is moving backwards, it will always turn on. Some states have different standards for safety and some sites have different standards for safety. Like we have a, an EE option. So if you're in a place that is dealing with a lot of, uh, I guess, flammable things, you wouldn't want uh, any risk of uh, any sparks off the contactor. So we have an enclosure there. Uh, we have gates across the battery and special fuses to uh, prevent sparks. Our braking systems uh, are made so that no matter how quickly you want to accelerate the truck, it will always go along a throttle map. If someone is a more experienced driver, then they would uh, be more comfortable with a more aggressive braking profile. Less comfortable drivers would want a more gentle experience. We just make sure the braking profile on plugging is gentle on the driver. Much like the plugging, you can't take a corner too quick because as you turn, the truck will innately slow down. If you're traveling very quickly and you immediately hit a 90, the truck will compensate. A tired person is always someone who's going to be more likely to overlook things and much more likely to get into an unsafe situation. You always want people to be turning and bending uh, as least as possible. So if somebody's standing on a forklift, you want them to be standing in a comfortable position, sitting on an armrest uh, that holds them for the joystick, having a backrest so they can lean, uh, a footrest so they have somewhere to go, and the driver's able to easily uh, look back and look forward uh, without having to turn their body very much at all. The ergonomics of the joystick is such that we would like all the buttons to be easily reachable from uh, uh, from every part of your hand. So if somebody needs to get to the horn, they're not reaching all over the place. If somebody is using a, an auxiliary function, they're not having to uh, keep uh, reaching their finger into an uncomfortable position. You know that you're getting a forklift that's going to keep your people safe, that's designed with safety in mind, and you're getting a forklift with uh, extremely solid aftermarket support.